Okay, that's in, and don't forget the plugs that go in with it. Next is the center cover. Uh, lower end goes down the bottom. It just snaps in along these four different key points on here. You'll see them for these tabs right here. One, two, three, four. Right and left foot pegs go on next. Um, they just basically slide into this spot right here and the two uh, six millimeter Allens go into those two holes right there. Note that they were on really tight uh, from the factory, so I'm gonna try to lock them down pretty good. Air filter cover is next. Battery is next. Uh, one of the last things. What I've got is, uh, when I took it off, I said black wire because it's black on the end here, but it's actually the red and that's the positive. So that one goes on first and then the green, which is the negative, goes on this side, goes on second. Fender to do yet, the Met box, the mirrors and the fly screen and I'm done. So I'm gonna do this fender first and then the Met box, dropping that in. Remember there's seven uh, screws for the Met box, two at the top, two nuts in the middle, two bolts down here, one, two, and then one Phillips head that goes into your uh, front center cover. As you can see, I got it all put together. I got the flying screen on, the mirrors, the mat box is in, the tail mud guard is in. So I took her for a test ride. It's getting a little dark out now, but I don't know if you can see it on there or not. Temperature is still coming down. Uh, so the temperature is working good. Tack is working good. Um, I'm still not sure I have it set right. It's saying 1200 at uh, at idle. And when I had it all the way up out on the highway, I had it buried. It was like 4300 RPM, which seems kind of low. So I may have to readjust that. I'm going to try to contact Kimco and find out what the uh, idle is. Maybe the idle is 2400 on this thing and it needs to be lowered so um, I can piss around with that too and if that's the case then it was running around 8600 uh, RPMs wide open so uh, that's the end of this. I hope uh, you enjoyed it and you got something out of it at least uh, how to take the uh, panels off of a Kimco Super 8 um, if you liked it, leave a like. If uh, not, then tough crunchies. And don't forget, go Tigers. Hold that tiger. Hold that tiger.